Hi guys, welcome back, Android Andy here. You may have seen me do a video on this before on a different channel, but I love the app so much, I use it so much, I wanted to do it again for this channel. So, TV Show Favs is the app. This is its widget. Um, I've already told it what TV shows I watch. It tracks them, well it doesn't track them for me, sorry. It um, it allows me to mark them watched, etc, etc. So, at the minute, I've, I'm, I'm, the widget is showing my to-do list. So these are the shows that I still need to watch. So, for example, Big Bang Theory, Season 6, Episode 12, The Egg Salad equi uh, Equiver, whatever. So, when I sit down and I finally watch that, I tap on this. I either mark it watched, I check in, I think it's a get glue thing, I've only just done it, um, I've only just set it up on the application. Or I can go to the episode or I can go to the show. So, so I go to the episode. So, maybe I'm just thinking, have I seen this one already or not? When Sharon is good with sexual harassment, he ends up getting rise and blah, blah, blah. So, I haven't seen it, I sit down and I watch it, I can tick the little tick in the corner there. It then syncs to my account basically that I've then watched that show, it would no longer be on my to-do list. But I'm going to untick it, because I haven't seen it. So, let's see if we can get back, gradually get back to the main app. So this is the app itself, TV Show Favs. Um, I've got the paid version, well there's an unlocker which is about just over three pounds to, to get £3.12 at the moment on the Google Play. You can use it without, you'll have an ad along the bottom. You possibly can't do some things like sync with Get Glue, um, uh, mark posted Facebook and Twitter, um, and stuff like that. Uh, but it's perfectly functional with the adverts in place. Um, so I can, let's see, we can look at all of my shows. I like that it gives you information on what's going on with the show. So Breaking Bad, if you don't watch Breaking Bad, you really should. Uh, it's on its final season, halfway through at the moment. Uh, they've taken a bit of a break. I forget if it's March or August for the <laughs> for the final eight episodes. And I can't wait. In fact, it might be able to, it might tell me. So, oh, that's not a good look. It does occasionally do that, kind of just loses. So you can see it's whirring away in the corner there. Oh dear, this is not good for when I'm doing it. It doesn't happen very often, it does happen from time to time. So you can see the different airing dates of the last shows. Let's try closing the app down and coming back into it maybe. Uh... Oops. I do find that sometimes you have to be quite precise on the little buttons on the widget, bit of a downside. So. Again, those are my shows, and it tells me returning series, returning series. Some of them are cancelled, so well, I've not actually watched any of IT crowd, you can see, but it's kind of some of them I want to watch at some point. Zero of 24, whereas Human Target is cancelled, I've seen all the shows. I could just take that off, really, it's not particularly any use to keep it there, I suppose. Um, oh, I didn't realise The Office was going into its final season. Anyway, um, you can also put tags on things, so this one, look, is I've tagged it, oh, it's still, this is not, not good when I'm trying to do a review, that it's failing on me. Maybe if I, uh, I wonder if it's just something weird going on with my Wi-Fi, perhaps, let's take that off. Um, so, I've tagged it, it's a comedy, and it's one of those 20 minute shows, because generally shows are either 20 minutes or the 40 minutes, aren't they? Um, whereas, Newsroom, have I tagged that? Well, I've not tagged it, so, um, it's drama, and it's 30 plus minutes. There we go. Go away. So then, I think, my tags, I've got 14 series that are in the drama, oh goodness. And I've got 19 series that are 30 plus. So if I tap on drama, I can see all the dramas that I watch. This is quite annoying. It's not often that it happens, so it's, it's letting itself down a little bit, the app. But it keeps doing that. Um, yeah, so tags are quite handy. So I've got some in recommended. So people have said to me, oh, you need to watch whatever it might be. And there is one, I can't remember what it's called. And I, no. um, so those are the tags, they're quite handy. My to-do list, and that is literally just, you know, what do I need to watch? I've still got quite a lot of 30 Rock to watch at some point. I haven't watched that for a long while. Um, I really like this, top favs. So this is a good way for you to discover, oh, and it probably isn't gonna work because it can't connect. It's a good way for you to discover new shows because it will basically show you what people have favorited, in this case, in the last week, but you can look at all time. 
I'm going to try a really quick reboot to see if that if that fixes anything. Be right back. So I've had a quick reboot. There's obviously is a problem with the server. It it does happen from time to time. Um, and when I say time to time, maybe I don't know. Once every two or three weeks, I'll notice that I've checked a show as watched and it's not connected properly. It's not recorded it. So yeah, that is a bit of a frustration, but it's not uh, it's not a huge problem. Um, generally, it's just a shame that it's happened to do it when I'm recording my app reviews. Um, anyway, you get the idea. Hopefully, so Top Fouse is a really good way to discover some shows that people are, you know, almost like what's trending. I suppose um, there are other apps that do exactly the same thing. I've not seen one. I love this widget. I think it's great. You can have smaller widgets with kind of smaller icons and tags to them as well, um, or you can have just a scrolling list. I love this widget and you can change it so when you tap it it does different things. You can have it so it automatically you go to the episode and things like that. In fact, let's have a quick look at the setting. Oops, it is. Oh, sorry, yeah, I should show you there's different... Oh, Continuum's coming back. Wow, I didn't... Oh, hmm. oh hey. Stay focused, Andy. Um, so yeah, this is the upcoming, like what's being aired soon, so you can, you know, if that's your preference. Or you can just see what's aired recently. And again, you can still tap and, and mark. But for me, I prefer the to-do list because that is just, you know, what I'm still needing to watch. Um, you can go straight to things. I can go straight to settings, tap in there. So widget mode is on to-do, but you, as you saw, you can tap to rotate through. On quick, jump to series, jump to episode, or the quick action menu, which is what I do. Um, how far back or forward? I've said a full two months because some shows I do let build up and then I'll watch through. You can change... Um, which apps show up, not in this these settings. You also so actually where is it? Somewhere there was a uh oh, so they are a bit do that's the widget preferences, I do apologize, and then there's actual settings within the app itself. Or preferences, should I say. So you can uh you can log into Twitter, Facebook, you can change the theme. There's a darker, like a black version. I don't like it as much because it's great, you can see the background kind of fade, but it's graded, if that makes sense. It's not very smooth. Um, there you go. So there are other apps that do similar kind of thing. The presentation for me is is, is better on this particular app. Um, it's generally <laughs> It generally works very well. Uh, I don't know why it chose today to have issues. But that's it, TV show Favs. There is a free version with ads, or you can pay for the uh, the premium key that's £3.12. My name's Andy, I'll catch you all again soon.